Hello everyone, Blade55555 here, um, and today I'm going to be presenting to you a video with some tricks on Age of Empires 4. There's going to be about six tricks that I think are very useful and can help with your gameplay. In general though, these are for players who have the basics down. If you're a new player, I don't recommend working on these for now, but if you are you know, have the basics down and everything, then these are some neat tricks that can help you improve your gameplay in small ways. So with that, let's begin with the first one. The first trick I'm going to show you is moving your villagers around the town center to anywhere you want to go. For example, this wood line. You can have your villagers walk all the way around like this, but that wastes valuable seconds. What you can do instead is <clears throat> press the tree for just a, or a sheep, press G by default, town center, and then press D. What that does, as you can see, it takes the all your villagers out this way to the tree, which is much more efficient than walking all the way around. This is also useful if you are getting ram pushed, which is why I have this ram here to kind of showcase this. If you're getting rammed right here, instead of your villagers coming out here, if you were to right click on these berries, press G, press your town center, press D, they're right on top of the where the ram is and you can just right click that ram and destroy it. It's a very efficient way to just move around. I mean, it's again, only a small thing. It's not gonna be the difference between winning or losing a game usually, although it can be a big difference when dealing with rams, um, as it can save you a lot of damage because you could do poke back in the town center, poke and so on until it dies, assuming your opponent doesn't retreat it or something. Uh, so that's the first trick if you didn't know. The second trick I'm going to show you is with the villagers uh, and the mills. So with a mill, you can do QW, of course, to make the mill. And then you can hold your shift key with the farm hotkey, click on the mill, and you will be able to make farms perfectly. As you can see, there's eight perfect farms and much more efficient than pressing QA and shift clicking manually trying to do it perfectly where you'll make mistakes a lot of the time. This next trick has to do with walls. Um, so as you can see with this wall right now, just pretend it's an enemy one, for example, we can't walk past it. So you'd have to destroy it to get around. Or you can chop down a tree. Obviously this only works when there's a tree to chop down. And what you can do is chop down that tree to get around the wall. It's kind of a sneaky way to do it. Um, something that's been catching on. So like if you get walled in, for example, on a map like French Pass, and there's a tree line, you can just cut your way out instead of trying to destroy it, um, whether it's a stone wall or a wooden wall, it works on both. Um, neat little trick to get out. Who knows if that'll be fixed in the future or not, but as for the making of this video, this is an effective way to get around walls. All right, this next one is one I actually have not seen many players use at all, and I'm not sure if they're aware of it or if it's just something that isn't uh, opt optimal to use, but there is an easy way to get your units out of a RAM without having to press the unload garrison and trying to find out. Now, you do have to have the exact amount in a hotkey. So I'm going to show you what happens if you do this wrongly with uh, too many units. So this is 19 archers all in one hotkey. If we go in here, you'll know it fills up. We press one and nothing happens. Now, let's unload these archers. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to hockey just these, so exactly 16 archers. We're going to go inside the ram, move around, press the one key, and you can get out really easily. As you can see, there's no waiting for the ram to stop. You just have to press that hockey that you put it on, right click, bam, your units get out. And much easier way to get out of the ram than trying to fumble with the unload key, especially if you're you know, destroying a town center. But again, you do have to make sure you have the proper hockeys there. You can also do the same thing with a tower. With five archers hotkeyed, you can put them in a tower and do the same exact thing. Um, this isn't as useful, um, but for the ram, I think it's a neat little trick that I think will catch on someday. Um, much easier to do and will make assaulting TCs easier if you do that properly. All right, so we all know about archery ranges or buildings in general and waypoints. You know, you can right click and to set a, way, a waypoint. Um, one thing that you've probably experienced if you've played water maps is you have a waypoint and an enemy ship is like right here killing all your reinforcements. There is a way around that without much you have to do. If you actually click on the buildings that you need, 
right click for a waypoint, hold shift key, you can actually set a waypoint to go around. So a unit to show this uh, optimally is you're going to see this archer that's about to come out is going to go take this path and is an effective way to get around the problem with if you go by water and there's a ship or, so, or a tower even, anything at all. As you can see, this archer is going off the, waypo the waypoints and safe from harm. Um, it's something I actually learned recently and it's it's very effective. Uh, it's very nice not to lose reinforcements to a water or tower that you didn't expect. This next one isn't really like the biggest deal and probably not something worth wasting your time on depending on your skill level. Um, but what you can do when building a wall is you can delete these endpoints. Uh, you just double click the endpoints and then press the S key or just click on it. And it's gonna save you about 10 wood and you'll notice that villagers still can't go past. So it's a, it's a way to save a little bit of wood while having a wall. Not the biggest thing, and if you're not, um, if you don't have the multitasking or something to do that, don't worry about it. Most players don't do this, um, but it is a way to save a little bit of wood when building a wall. All right, this trick is one that I don't see used very often by pros or really any players at all, at least from the streams I've watched. And this has to deal with relics. Um, so as you know, with the first relic that you try to put, if you were to right click this relic and shift click here, it's not going to put the relic in here. Uh, this is one that I think everyone's aware of at this point, but maybe not. As you'll see, he'll just kind of stand there and not do anything. But that's only the first relic. So we'll deposit this relic and I'll show you the trick is if you right click this, hold shift, you can right click to your monastery and put your second relic in without having to manually do it. I see pros, streamers, whoever you want to say, um, right click the relic like this, and then they just shift click here and don't even try it. Um, and so if you didn't know that, this is a trick to do that without having to manually right click it every time. You only have to do it for the first relic. The last trick I'm going to show off today is one dealing with control groups. I see a lot of people ask or say, how do you switch control groups from like this unit to removing them? like that, so now they're not on a control group. Um, the be there's a couple ways you can do this. So with this control group, if you wanna remove every unit in there, cause you're just like, ah, I don't want anyone in this control group right now, click on a blank area where you're not selecting anything, press control one, that removes it. Another way to do it is let's say you have two and you want them to be one, you can just do control one and then blank control two to remove them from the second control group if that's what you wanna do, or if you have them on two control groups, you can do one, and then this one's already two. Um, and you just have to do that again to make sure that it's cleared. And that, those are the end of the tricks for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it taught you something that you didn't know, and maybe helps you in the future. Um, I also hope you enjoy these lovely deer here as they gather in the darkness away, safe from villagers. Uh, with that, uh, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash blade55555. Um, I stream every night and I commentate my gameplay and try to help people out. Feel free to ask questions there. Um, subscribe to the YouTube and again, leave comments if you have any questions or maybe you want something to see in a future video. Um, I am planning on doing guides at some point. I've been a little lazy on that, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. Um, but stay tuned for those as I try to get myself to do that. Uh, with that, thanks for watching everyone and hope you all have a great rest of your day.